You can repurpose an old insecure laptop or desktop computer and give it a new life using the Neverware cloud ready operating system based on the Google Chromebook OS. To access the cloud ready OS, you will require a Google account. Once signed in, not only can you access all of the Google Workspace apps, you can also sign in to a Microsoft Office 365 online account. This is a great way of reusing an old obsolete and insecure computer. You can update your old Windows 7, Windows Vista or even Windows XP computer which are no longer supported by Microsoft. The Cloud Ready OS is also compatible with some MacBooks. Before you begin, you can check the Neverware compatibility page for your device. The link is in the description below. If your device is not listed, it may still work. However, you may find some features are not fully compatible. It is possible to test the Cloud Ready operating system on your old computer before permanently installing it. Using a Windows 10 computer, I will show you how I updated my old Windows Vista Dell Vostro 1510 laptop which I purchased in October 2008. Before we begin, it is important to understand when installing any new operating system, including the Cloud Ready operating system, it will erase all the data you have saved. This includes your old obsolete and insecure operating system and any programs and all data. Ensure you have a copy of any important documents, including photos, videos and music before you begin. You will not be able to recover any data once you have permanently installed the Cloud Ready operating system. You will require a computer with a 64-bit processor. Computers made in the last 15 years will have one and with a minimum of 2GB of RAM. A USB drive 8GB or larger. Some USB drives might experience compatibility issues. Neverware does not recommend using the SanDisk USB drives. Other makes may have compatibility issues. However, I have successfully used SanDisk USB drives with this method to install the Cloud Ready OS without any issues. A Windows computer with internet access and a free Windows program called Rufus, which will format your USB drive to boot into the Cloud Ready OS. Optionally, as many old laptops and desktops have easy access to replacing the hard drives, you could purchase a 120GB SSD and replace your old mechanical hard drive. Not only will this allow you to keep your old data safe, it will improve the performance of your old computer when running the Cloud Ready OS. To begin, we will need to create a bootable Cloud Ready USB drive using the Rufus program. Let's go to my Windows 10 computer. Open your browser and navigate to neverware.com. Check the support page and installing Cloud Ready. Here are the critical requirements for running Cloud Ready OS. On the left hand side, you can check the certified models for your computer. If your device is not listed, it does not mean that the Cloud Ready OS will not work. It just may not be fully compatible. Within the list, you may find a warning for incompatible hardware for your device. From the home page, select Cloud Editions and then select Home. Select the Install Home Edition. There are two methods that can be used to create a cloud ready USB drive. You can use the automatic creation method by selecting Download the USB Maker and following the on screen instructions. Due to compatibility issues with some USB drives using this method, I will show you an alternate method by creating our own bootable USB drive. Select Download 64-bit image. Now open a new tab and type rufus.ie. This program will prepare your USB drive to be bootable so it can install the Cloud Ready operating system image. You can download either Rufus or Rufus Portable. When downloaded, open the downloads folder. The Cloud Ready OS image will be in a zipped folder. To unzip a folder, right click and select Extract All. Click on the Extract button and close the window. Now connect your USB drive. Then open Rufus. Before you continue, 
ensure you do not require any data stored on the USB drive as the next steps will erase all data. On the right hand side click the select button. Select and open the non-zipped cloud ready free folder. In the bottom right hand corner click the ISO image and select all files. Now select the cloud free bin file and click open. Confirm your USB drive is selected and then click the start button. Click OK to confirm the warning message. When the installation has completed the status bar will say ready. Click close and safely remove the USB drive and return to your old computer. Some laptops and desktop computers may have a feature called secure boot. You may find you are unable to access your cloud ready USB drive on some computers due to this feature. Therefore you will need to disable secure boot to install the cloud ready operating system from your USB drive. To open the BIOS or setup menu on a computer you can access this menu by pressing a key during the startup sequence such as F1, F2, F12 or escape. This key is momentarily displayed when you switch on your computer. Find the secure boot setting and set it to disabled. This option is usually in either the security tab, the boot tab or the authentication tab. Save the changes and exit. The save key will be listed within the BIOS screen. The computer will restart then shut down the computer by pressing the power button for at least 10 seconds. Now connect your USB drive to your old laptop or desktop computer. To set your computer to start from the USB drive we need to load the boot selection menu. When your computer starts up it may momentarily display which key you need to press. On this Dell we need to press the F12 key. However your computer may be F2, F10 or Escape. From the list available select your USB drive. Your computer is now reading the information from your USB drive. Currently all your old data is safe. By default the cloud ready operating system language and keyboard layout is set to English United States. To change the language and keyboard layout select the English United States button and from the language menu select your preferred language. From the keyboard menu select your keyboard layout. If you are in the UK you will most likely need to select UK not UK Dvorak. Then click OK. If you permanently install the cloud ready OS you will need to repeat this process after your computer has automatically shut down. You can test your computer is working correctly with the cloud ready operating system by selecting the blue let's go button then selecting your Wi-Fi SSID name and typing in your Wi-Fi password or connecting an Ethernet cable. Then click connect and sign into your Google account. The experience may be slow due to the operating system running from the USB drive. If you test the cloud ready OS you can choose to permanently install it by opening the menu button in the lower right hand corner by the clock and selecting the install OS button. Alternatively if you decide to install the cloud ready OS without testing from this screen we can open the menu button in the lower right hand corner by the clock and select the install OS button. There will be a series of warnings to ensure you have an up to date backup of your data before installing as all data will be erased. Click the install cloud ready button. You will see one final warning that all data will be erased. To permanently install the cloud ready OS click erase hard drive and install cloud ready. After approximately 20 minutes your old computer will automatically shut down. Now you can remove your USB drive and switch the old computer back on. The cloud ready operating system will now start loading. Remember you may need to change your language and keyboard layout settings. Click the English United States button and select from the menus. Select the blue let's go button to connect to a network. 
to use your Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi SSID name and type your password. Alternatively, you may be able to connect via an Ethernet port. Then click the blue Connect button. Your computer will now check for updates. Read the data collection terms and conditions. You may decide to untick the Send Metrics to help improve Cloud Ready option. On the right hand side, click Continue. Now sign in using your Google account username. The first account used will become the device administrator. It is not possible to remove this account without reinstalling the Cloud Ready OS. Later, from the signing in screen, you can add more user accounts. When signed in, click Get Started. You will receive the thank you message. In the bottom right hand corner, there is a notification reminding you to install the proprietary media components. Click Settings. Within the Media Plugins page, click Install Proprietary Media Components, then click Accept License. I do not recommend installing Adobe Flash as support has been discontinued. After the proprietary media components have been installed, a notification will prompt you to restart now to complete the setup. Click Restart Now. To add another user account, select Add Person and type in their Google account details. When signed in, click Get Started. Your Google Neverware Cloud Ready computer is now ready for you to enjoy.